All right, guys, welcome to another Capture One tutorial. And this is going to be a very short video, and it's also going to be a very important video because if you're shooting, let's say, with the client, if you have a studio kind of shoot or you have a laptop connected to a separate monitor, or whatnot, then basically, if you want to have a dedicated output for your screen. Basically, I'm going to show you how to do a separate screen in Capture One. It's very simple. At the same time, it can be a little bit frustrating if you really don't know the program or you're kind of feeling lost a little bit, basically, in all the buttons and stuff. Because if you barely start using the program, it looks a little bit overwhelming. But believe me, it's actually much easier than what it looks. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to locate and set up a second dual monitor. So to begin, let's say we have this area, our working area, and basically in order to set it up, you need to obviously have two screens connected. And after that, you go to the window and you click on the viewer. In a previous version of the program, it was a little bit different. However, now they simplified it and basically there is a shortcut by default F10. So once you click over here, you have this floating window and basically you can pl place this floating window on your second screen just like this. Or if you have, let's say TV, you can also do the very same thing. Now let me fight a little bit, there we go, because my other monitor is smaller resolution than my main one. And basically now I have two monitors workflow. So any kind of adjustments I'm going to have right over here, we're going to have immediate reflection right on the second screen. And basically if you have the monitor calibrated or it's some kind of studio work, client or models can view it basically separately without staining behind your back. Because I know sometimes it can a little bit get frustrated, you know, when you try to do adjustment and people like all over you. So having this kind of option separately a little bit away from your workstation is a great idea. So thanks for watching guys and next we're gonna start going in depth with the Capture One. 